Gemini, welcome back to Shacy Tarot. For those of you returning, for those of you brand new, welcome to the channel. Let's get into your energy. I'm going to start out with the Tarot dice. Let's see what's happening. Don't forget to hit the like button. It's a fantastic and free way to support these free readings. I really appreciate it. It helps others to understand your energy better and vice versa. So it definitely is a win-win. All right, so I'm using, again, the Tarot dice. So they are very tiny, but I will try to do what I can to show you and explain to you. We're also going to use the Double Decker Vintage Deck and get confessions from your soulmate as well near the end of the reading. So don't go anywhere or you're going to miss some important messages. Okay. So I feel like there's communication coming in, some kind of message you're going to receive. I do feel like it's good news. It could be monetary for some of you. It's going to allow you to let go of a lot of burdens, um, whatever's been weighing you down. I feel like many of you have been thinking about the future. Um, be careful, though. Uh, I'm seeing here with the devil energy, you're almost like obsessing about it. So it's either you or whoever you're dealing with. Okay. I feel like for some of you here, you're moving quite quickly forward. Could be into a marriage or commitment or there's something monetary coming in. I just, I feel like there's something kind of hidden here. So Spirit's telling you to really take time to think about things. The first thing out was the hermit next to the moon. I know that's really hard to, to see, but this is like, take time to think about these things because there may be some unknowns here that you're unaware of. Um, it's something that could be really weighing you down. Um, again, I'm getting that communication, possible travel, forward movement, something monetary. Could involve your family. So some of you could be receiving some kind of good news from your, from your own family. It's going to allow you to move forward successfully here. I do feel like, you know, it's some kind of announcement here coming in. Could be monetary. It could be something from your family. It could be something that went through the courts. It could be um, an inheritance or a payout. I definitely feel like it's something that can allow you to move forward here towards marriage, commitment, making things more kind of balanced, more fair. It's going to allow somebody to let go of their worries, of their stress. Some of you may need to let go for some of you here, and that's not going to be for all of you, of a family member. Because I feel for some of you, there's been a lot of, um, like a lot's been on your plate. You've had all the responsibilities is what I'm getting. So there's something monetary or some kind of good news coming in. Could be from court. Could be something legal that um, it's going to be a payout of some sort or it's going to allow you perhaps to let go of a lot of burdens of, that have been weighing heavy on you. I feel like you've been thinking about this for a long, long, long time. Whoever you are, whoever I'm speaking to, remember these messages, they can also go vice versa. So if this isn't your energy, it's somebody else's energy I'm picking up that's around you. Could be your own family member. I've got Capricorn. I have Libra here. I have Pisces here. I have Virgo here. Okay. There's a need to really think about the future. Reflect on your past, Spirit is saying, your present and your future. And trust your intuition here because I'm just getting that somebody could be very, very codependent. So be careful of that. There is a codependency here. This may not have happened yet. For some of you, this could resonate immediately. For some of you, it could resonate, you know, a couple months down the road, all the way up to a year. That's how Tarot works. It's energy. There could be some kind of um, codependency here I'm getting. Be careful of that. Hmm. Yeah, it's like somebody's weighed down with all the responsibilities. Family members or or you're getting something monetary from family that's going to help relieve some of your stress. Let's see what's going on. Mm. Okay, somebody's definitely keeping a lot of you know things to themselves here. They're trying to manifest, balancing things out. Be careful. This is a very greedy energy. Um, this can be manipulation as well. Like, you know, I'm keeping this to myself. I'm I'm not telling anybody ever anything, and I'm trying to manipulate money, do something with money. 
That's kind of scary. So be careful. That's just a warning for some of you. But I'm also getting that somebody's trying to manifest balancing their finances out. And like we're holding on to every penny. because Yeah, for many of you, there's a lot of like codependency, monetary things weighing you down. You're needing to manifest holding on to your money more, balancing your budget out more because monetary wise you're having troubles or you will have troubles. Mm. We have justice again. Manifesting something, holding on to my money, balancing things out. Okay, so five of pentacles, queen of pentacles, feeling left out in the cold, feeling like things aren't balanced. I need to manifest holding on to my money, balancing myself out, balancing my finances, my responsibilities. So for some of you, you have all the responsibilities. You're feeling weighed down. You need to trust your intuition that there's not somebody around you that's really codependent. You need to think about your future spirit is saying. If things aren't balanced or fair, you need to figure out a way to balance and, and make things fair. You may be doing a lot of juggling, financially speaking, right now. Some of you may already be in a marriage or family situation that is one-sided. It doesn't have to be marriage. It could be a commitment. You're committed to somebody, and it's very one-sided financially is what I'm getting. You have all the responsibility responsibilities monetary-wise. I just all blended together. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Wow, Knight of Swords. <clears throat> Some of you are definitely on the outs with your spouse or soon-to-be ex. You're going through justice or legal issues involving money. And if that's the case, Spirit's saying that you can overcome these challenges. You will, you will overcome them. But there is a need to trust your intuition here and not allow codependency to, to overcome you. Because this is, this is something that's weighing heavy. We've got the Ten of Wands. As you see, this guy can't carry one more wand on his shoulder. He's overwhelmed with responsibilities, dealing with the finances, and it's, it's um, with the devil energy here right next to justice. It's like we're absolutely consumed with thinking about this. How, how, do, how do I make things fair and balanced? How do I make things right? Somebody's getting angry because they feel like they don't have enough financially. Things are not balanced. Clarify the Knight of Swords. Somebody's acting impulsively here. Wow. Okay. Nine of Cups. Whew. Yeah, somebody's acting impulsively here in a relationship, a commitment, or a marriage. Why is a Nine of Cups here? Ah, uh, somebody's being very selfish. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> somebody wants to move too quickly i'm getting towards marriage and commitment here ace of cups nine of cups somebody's acting impulsively and what's going to happen is somebody's going to end up with all the responsibilities here they're going to feel weighed down spirit's telling you to take time with the hermit and the moon here there's certain things hidden that you don't understand or you don't know yeah and don't move forward too quickly here things are yeah, that's what I'm getting. It's not going to be fair and balanced. It's, it's like somebody's moving too too quickly, too impulsively towards marriage commitment and having like this whole enchilada, this happy family. But what you don't know is you're going to be penny pinching and having to constantly move money around. Things will not be fair and balanced. Be careful. This is hidden from you right now at the moon. You need to take time to think about this instead of moving forward too quickly. What's going on, please, with Gemini's person of interest? What does Gemini need to know about their person? Any blockages or anything hidden? Any blockages or anything hidden in Gemini's person's energy that we need to be made aware of? 
Let me know how this resonates in the comment section. Don't forget to hit that notification bell because, um, well, a lot of my replete clients say they've hit it and then it ends up not showing up. So that's the only way you're going to get notifications of future readings, okay? Ace of Wands. Okay, this is the wand to be intimate. So it's a kind of like there's a lot of sexual energy here. Mm, arguments, fighting, disagreements, challenges. Oh, somebody likes the drama. Okay, for some of you, be careful. Ooh. Okay, for some of you, this person is about the sex, the fun, the drama. Hmm. Clarify the Knight of Wands. This is somebody who could be in and out of your life or well, just, uh, yeah, see, slow down. Temperance. Got temperance and we have the Four of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, the Moon. Um, again, the Hermit saying, you know, be careful. Make make uh, wise decisions here with the Hermit here. Take time to trust your intuition. There's somebody here that needs to uh, control their behavior. Um what I'm getting is, is that there's a lot of challenges and somebody is acting impulsively because it's all about the sexual energy, the excitement, the drama. They need to balance and temper their emotions and their impulses. This is somebody who's impulsive. Clarify the temperance. Could be a Sagittarius for some of you. Yeah. You know, should I do this? Should I do that? I'm in, I'm out, I'm up, I'm down. This is somebody who's impulsive and Oh my gosh, it's almost like they're reckless. Clarify the two of pentacles. They're, the spirit's telling, they're being guided here to, to stay balanced, but they're they're impulsive, they're reckless. They're all about the, um, the excitement. They just like excitement. <sighs> this is going to end painfully. Ten of swords. Because they're juggling. Because there's too many people involved. They're reckless. Whoever this is, they're reckless. Yep, they're giving to everybody. Six of pentacles. Be careful. I just see, <coughs> sorry, I've got a bit of a cold again. I see a lot of reckless behavior here, impulsive behavior, and a need to, to kind of chill things out and balance oneself out because this is going to end very painfully with the Ten of Swords because this person gives to everybody and gets everybody involved and it creates a lot of drama. Ooh, see? We've got the Hermit twice, Temperance, the Moon. There's a need to think about things and not be so impulsive because we're going to cause a lot of pain here. Could be somebody being jealous or reckless here. Creating that in, in, on purpose because, oh, I don't know. This is awful. This person is... um. They're impulsive and reckless. That's what I'm seeing. Why is a hermit here twice, please? What does Gemini need to know about this person? Okay, because like I'm in a hurry here to close this chapter. I'm waiting for my ships to come in. And so I don't really care what I do because I'm excited because I like the drama because this is exciting. It gives me like I'm feeling very... <sighs> this person... I'm sorry, Gemini, I don't usually get this, but the Ace of Wands, the Five of Wands, the Knight of Wands spells trouble to me. This is all about the sexual energy, the satisfaction. I feel like very selfish energy of this is what I want. I don't care who it hurts. Spirit's saying, no, no, you need to temper your emotions and your impulses. You need to balance yourself out and think about things. Because if you don't, Something is going to end here very painfully. Very destructive behavior. Reclarify the Ten of Swords for Gemini's person. Could be dealing with a Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Water Sign, a male. I feel like this is a male. King of Cups, this is somebody who hides what they feel quite often. Clarify the King of Cups. They don't outwardly show their emotions. They're rather impulsive. Mm, six of swords. They're going to cause some kind of betrayal. They're going to move on. They're going to leave the past behind. This person's... Uh, clarify the six of swords. Ooh, nine of swords. 
This person lives in their head. Why is the Nine of Swords here, please? For Gemini's person, Nine of Swords. Okay. So, I feel like whatever impulsive behavior this person has, they're going to end up living in regret, and they're going to actually be left out in the cold. Because they're guilty of very, very impulsive, reckless behavior, causing a lot of drama that they created themselves. It's a very masculine energy. Ace of Cups. Mm. I'm definitely getting that a new blessing is trying to come in, but it's almost, it's like somebody sabotaged it. Somebody's, I don't know, this is weird. Clarify the Ace of Cups. Let me know how this resonates. Okay, see? There's a need to take a break because somebody's impulsive, reckless, selfish behavior is consuming them and they're going to end up living in regret and feeling guilty for something they've done or said or didn't say and do. And it's going to leave them out in the cold. Financially, they're going to end up losing and emotionally, they're going to end up losing. And it's because, you know, they caused it themselves. Through betrayal or dishonesty. Because, again, this is somebody who's in and out, likes drama, and just lives for the moment, and sees a lot of excitement, and they just get excited and impulsive, and they do reckless things. And Spirit's saying, no, no, you need you need time to close a chapter to learn the lessons. This is somebody who doesn't learn their lessons. And so it's going to end up, see, look at that, nine to ten of swords. It's going to end up creating a very painful end to something. Because they created all this drama, because they were excited, because they were impulsive, because they wanted what they wanted. Ooh, let's get the mutual energies. A new blessing's trying to come in, but somebody's sabotaging it. Yeah, through the reckless behavior. Let's see what's going on mutually between Gemini and their person. How are they both both feeling toward this connection? What's going on? See, in order to have a new blessing coming in, uh, justice is here twice. That means, and, and the two of pentacles is here twice, and temperance is here, and, and the hermit's here twice. So that's like, no, you need time to think about things, to balance things, to heal Otherwise, things end painfully here and nobody wins because now you're going to, your person is what I'm feeling. It could go vice versa. It's going to end up living in regret because they're going to end up with nothing here. Okay. Self-care. So again, self-care is about taking care of yourself and healing before moving on to a new beginning. We have the five of pentacles twice. So somebody's going to end up feeling a great deal of loss emotionally, financially, because they don't they don't know how to control themselves, okay? Support. Somebody needs to learn that they need to heal before moving on and, and don't make impulsive decisions here. Could involve someone from the past. For some of you, that's not necessarily going to be for all of you. See, what was I saying? Healing. Need to work hard on healing and self-care before you can move forward. Otherwise, you're destined to destroy new love through impulsive, reckless behavior. So that's either you or your person or somebody here. I've only got the king and queen of pentacles. So we need to learn our lessons first and heal before moving on to a new connection. Now, it can be that somebody is, like, because we've got the devil energy here. It can represent that this there's a codependency issue here. It's like somebody doesn't like to be alone is what I'm getting. 
they're excited as soon as there's somebody new in the picture they get excited and they're very codependent and so they latch on super tight to the new th newest and greatest thing so again take what resonates for you let's get some advice and guidance let's do advice and guidance please for gemini hmm, this will be interesting sheep innocence you are encouraged to reconnect with your inner child in order to become more spontaneous and playful and consider what life has to offer with a greater sense of wonder. Take some time this week to get in touch with the innocence and vulnerability in you. So this is somebody, remember how I said somebody hides their emotions, okay? This is somebody that holds on to everything and doesn't talk about anything. We got the King of Cups. So there's a masculine here. <clears throat> Who kind of keeps everything to themselves and keeps things hidden here? Okay, for some of you, this, this person's a very codependent person because it's easier just to be a sheep and follow everybody than it is to open up and actually heal first before moving to another connection. So be very careful. They prefer to follow the crowd and be codependent because they don't want to have to make any decisions. They just make them impulsively and recklessly and they end up, you know, regretting it after and feeling guilty after the, the damage is already done. That's what I'm getting. Productivity. It is time to examine your productivity, disorganization, and indecisiveness may be causing you to miss opportunities. Take a moment to prioritize your goal and get a clear view of how to get where you want to get and what it will take to get there. See? So somebody needs to be less reckless. Take the time to actually soul search here with the hermit here twice and temperance and decide what it is they really want for their life instead of just, you know, irrationally and impulsively going on from one connection to another because they're codependent. This is somebody that needs to live on their own and do some things by themselves for a while and stop depending on everybody else for their happiness. It's because they don't know how to express themselves properly and they, um, they end up, you know, self-sabotaging their own relationships because they, they can't manage their emotions. They're too reckless, okay? So whether that's you or your person, you know who you are, okay? One, two, three, we're going to get confessions from your soulmate surprise get ready to receive something special soon that expresses how i feel about you okay so again this is somebody that <clears throat> can be quite impulsive so what i'm getting is that you may receive some kind of communication here i'm getting the feeling that there's something monetary coming in so again i'm going to say it be careful if you're wanting to gift somebody something because you might not realize that this person is actually quite manipulative and codependent and is going to hold on to you rather tight and obsessively. That's what I'm getting. You're going to find out that this person is quite reckless. And they're not good at tempering their emotions. And it gets, that's what gets them into trouble. Is they make compulsive decisions without thinking first. Be careful. Next message. Unspoken. There's so much I want to say to you, but I find it difficult to put my feelings into words. Just know that you're very important to me. The depth of my love for you is beyond work. Okay, so... They, this person wants to show you in a tangible way that they care... Which is fine, but the problem is, is that I'm seeing here that they hold on to too tightly to people, places, and things because they have a codependency issue. Because they've never taken time to heal from something in their past. Okay? So, just be careful. Next message. Sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry for the pain I've caused you, you see? So there's going to be some kind some kind of pain here. You know, they're going to betray you or... I don't know. It could be financially. It could be emotionally. Again, somebody impulsive and reckless. This is somebody that...
could be just like, they're very sexual. You know, they, they have sexual impulses here. And they create drama and unnecessary arguments. And then they feel guilty after. Somebody that needs to learn their lessons. I'm sorry I wasn't there when you needed me the most. Okay? So this is somebody that could have let you down or will let you down in the future. If they don't learn how to heal first, temper their emotions, and, and have stop this reckless, impulsive behavior that's really, at the end of the day, going to end up leaving them, you know, in, in trouble, is what I'm getting. We need to heal our past in order to move towards a calmer future. You see, it's rough here, and it's calm there. Leave the rough waters behind. We need to lay down the swords in order to move on. Yeah, that's what I've got. I hope that resonates for you. Wow. So if you want new love and new blessings, first you've got to deal with your past in a rational, calm, less impulsive way. Okay? That's what I've got. So that's either, again, you or your person. Or double confirmation, you know, that we're going to end up going through a breakup or problems in our finances. Like, don't act impulsively. Somebody's going to end up losing out financially, I'm getting here, a lot. If they don't um, stop acting impulsively here, they're going to end up regretting everything here. Five of Cups, Nine of Swords. Like, this is, I've realized what I've done. I regret it. I regret acting impulsively here. You know, I wasn't making wise decisions. I, I allowed, you know money maybe to control me or my thoughts to control me this is somebody who doesn't know how to put things into words and deal with things properly so they end up acting irrationally and impulsively and it gets them in trouble so it's either you or your person all right sending you much love much light i hope that resonates for you ever this is for i went way over sorry about that bye for now